Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. On today's topic, I'd like to discuss about bad purge valve solenoid. So the purge valve solenoid is part of the EVAP system and is mounted usually somewhere near the fuel rail, somewhere in the engine bay, and sometimes by the uh, charcoal canister, which may be mounted near the uh, fuel tank. So you look at the uh, purge valve solenoid, you have this vacuum hose over here. You're gonna have one port over here and another port over here and basically an electrical connection. I'm gonna tell you exactly how this works and how it is part of the EVAP system and what it does in the EVAP system. So what I have here is the uh, drawing of the EVAP system. Basically you have the uh, fuel tank, you have the charcoal caster, and you have the uh, purge valve solenoid. So in the uh, EVAP system, it should always be a sealed system. And right here you have the uh, fuel tank also should also be sealed as well. So basically it all starts from the, uh, the fuel tank, basically gas expands and it starts to vaporize and you have see here this fuel vapor right here. It needs to go somewhere. If it doesn't go somewhere, it can cause increased pressure here, it can cause the fuel tank to crack and somehow it can cause the fuel vapor to escape into the atmosphere which is, isn't good for the uh, environment. Instead of the fuel vapor escaping to, into the uh, atmosphere, what happened is that there's a hose right here mounted on the uh, fuel tank and all the fuel vapor starts to go up and travel through this hose over here and it gets stored into the uh, charcoal canister. Charcoal cas the charcoal is very good at absorbing a fuel vapor and it can store a good amount in here. So that fuel vapor that's stored in here eventually needs to go somewhere. So what happened, you have this purge valve solenoid over here. So basically there's a purge valve solenoid over here, which is basically this piece right here. And when the charcoal caster is ready to release uh, the fuel vapor, it's gonna release the fuel vapor through here. The, char the purge valve solenoid is gonna open up and allow fuel vapor to travel through the hose. And eventually it's gonna go straight to the intake where, where it will get burned into the uh, combustion chamber. Of course, the purge valve solenoid cannot just open and close whenever it wants. It is actually commanded by the computer or ECM and it will tell the uh, solenoid to open up. So basically, when it wants it to open up, it's going to energize the solenoid and cause it to open up and the fuel vapor is going to travel again to the intake where it will be burned again. If you have a problem with the purge valve solenoid, for example, let's just say it is stuck open and since this hole is over here, it's mounted on the uh, intake manifold, What's going to happen when it is stuck open at all times, it's going to cause a vacuum leak. So when you have a vacuum leak, you're going to notice a few symptoms. For example, you're going to notice rough idle, you're going to notice you're going to have some sort of evap codes, you're also going to notice hard starts, uh, basically a hard time starting your vehicle, and you're also going to notice extreme lean condition. So basically it's lean condition because it's air being introduced inside your engine that are not monitored. The next symptom you're going to notice is going to be hard time starting your vehicle after pumping gas. I'm going to explain to you guys why. So for example, this is the filler neck over here where you pump gas. And when you're pumping gas, it's going to force a lot of fuel vapor to go upward through the uh, EVAP line. It's going to end up in a charcoal canister. So all that fuel vapor is going to end up in here. It's going to become extremely saturated. And once, and once it's extremely saturated, of course, this is, this is since the uh, purge valve solenoid is stuck open, it's going to push a lot of fuel vapor past the purge valve solenoid and straight into your intake. So basically what's going to happen is when you try to start your vehicle, there'll be so much fuel vapor inside your intake, and it's, it's taking more gas than it should, and that's going to upset air and fuel mixture. When it upset air and fuel mixture, it's going to cause hard start and rough idle if you happen to get it up and running. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.